a um, lot of people they reporting they're having problem or error while updating their iOS devices iPhone or iPad and when they're updating the iOS to 15 or 15.1 it's giving an error so I'll, I'll show you 10 different ways how can you get rid of that error and update your iPhone or iPad so I'll be talking about 10 different solutions one by one so number one solution is it's very simple you try enabling and disabling airplane mode so you can go this way I don't know which phone you're using I have iPhone 11 right now you can go in the settings and airplane mode you can turn it on and after a few seconds just turn it back off and if you want to use a shortcut and here you see the airplane mode you can turn it off and on from here so I've seen some of the fonts they, they solve the problem just doing by that simple step now step number two you got to make sure that your date and time is correct so how does that work is you go in the settings then you go and to, to tap to general and here you see date and time so you see set automatically you can see the toggle switch is on what you can do is you can turn it off and after a few seconds you can turn it back on if it's if it's off you can turn it on and if it's on just you know do it off and on so then you go back and the number three solution number three is make sure the low battery mode is on so how do you do that so you go in the settings and go to battery and you can see the low power mode is off right if it's on just turn it off because sometimes that can cause problem and it can give error because of this only little thing so solution number four is restart your wi-fi router and the phone so what you have to do is restart the wi-fi router you unplug you know the from the wall outlet completely unplug and remove all the cables going to the router and wait at least 30 seconds to a minute and then you plug all the cables back on and turn it on and wait until it starts giving signals and once you have full signal then you re restart your phone just simply restart you can use the power button to restart or you can go in the settings and you can you can do from there too so you see, you see here shut down so you can tap here and shut down your phone and restart and in some cases it solved the problem as well now solution number five is disabling the VPN if you are using one so disable VPN or proxy connection if you are if you are using it if you're not using then you don't worry about it so how do you know if you're using VPN or not so you go in general and then you see here VPN and device management I hope you can see I can try zooming in a bit uh, there you go that's the best I can do so if you click on VPN and here you see it's not connected so if you are using VPN make sure it's disabled because VPN can also interfere with your update so solution number six is force restarting your device now force what force restarting what does it mean is if you're using iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, X, XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, 12, or any 13, you know, 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max, any of these models, SE, even second generation, they all have same method of re forcing it to restart. So what that method is, I'll tell you that I'll, I'll show you practically. So step number one is quickly press and release the volume up button and step number two quickly press and release the volume down button and finally press and hold the side button until it shuts down and it shows the Apple logo while turning on. So uh, I hope you can see it is a little bit dark here. So I press volume up and then volume down and then press and hold the power button you'll see this kind of screen and eventually it will shut down and keep holding the power button until you see the Apple logo 
on the screen comes back on so this is called uh, force shutdown you know like you forcing the phone to shut down and restart so most of the problem can be solved just by doing these simple steps and in case if you're using older version like iPhone 7 or 7 plus the the technique to force restart for that phone is you press well, press and hold volume down button and the power button until the you go through the these, all these steps what I showed you to to re, uh, force restart it. Okay, now the solution number seven. Uh, you can try resetting the network settings. So, network setting. How do you do that? You go in settings. You go to general and scroll down to transfer or reset iPhone, and then go to reset. And you can see here reset network settings can you see the second option here so uh, I don't want to do it because it's just uh, it's just a waste of time because every setting I do it and you know the video is gonna be too long so it's the second setting from the top reset network setting I hope you can see it now the solution number eight let's go back to the main page Okay, if, if that didn't work, then go to number eight. It says, it says reset all settings. So how do you reset all settings? It's in the same place. You go to settings, general, and then where it says transfer or reset iPhone. So you go there, reset. Here at the top, the number one, you can see the setting. The option is reset all settings. So you can tap there. What it will do is it will it will reset your all customized settings to default settings, but don't worry, you will not lose any data or media, whatever you have stored in the phone. Okay, so now the solution number nine, you know, it's a, it's a, again, it's a simple step, but it's worth it, you know, checking even before going through all those steps what I showed you. What is that? It's check you have enough storage space. So how do you do that? So you go to settings, go to general, and then you go to iPhone storage. Here you can also check, it shows your phone is 64 gigabyte and 35 gigabyte I have used out of 64. So you can you can deduct, 30, I mean, 35.7 from 64. So you have enough space to accommodate the new update. So another, little thing is solution number 10 why I say little because it's, it's just like one step to do it so what you can do if if all, none of them work like nine solutions I showed you if not, none, none of them worked for you so try turning the screen time off you know the screen time try to turn it off and then you try to update for in some cases it worked as you can see here turn off screen time so you click here and then you click here again it will ask your password and that is off so how do you do how do you go to turn the screen time off you go to settings and then here if you scroll down a little bit you can see screen time off so these are the 10 little things which can help you to resolve the issue. If in case none of them worked for you, you know, the last thing where you can do is connect it to iTunes with your laptop or computer and try updating your device with, um, with the iTunes. And I hope that, you know, you don't have to do that because one of these things should work for you. And if one of these uh, 10, 10 options if one of these work for you please leave the solution number in the comment which one worked for you so that will help for the other people as well who want to update their devices so they can try that that method first so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video